All right, guys. Guys, guys, it's time to donate blood. How many of you have donated blood? For those of you that said yes, I have donated blood, good on you. For those of you that said no, I have not, I'm trying to figure out the reason why. I think it's because people aren't aware of the process. They think the needle's gonna hurt and it's not easy. So let me take you along with me and show you how simple this is. Let's go. Um, they've asked me not to film anybody, so I'm trying to be very respectful and not get anybody into the video. So I may need to do little editing tricks here and there, so we'll see how it goes. So when you first get to the place, they sit you in a room and they ask you some simple questions such as, can you tell me your first and last name? Matthew Smith. Middle initial. K. Then they give you a little test that checks the amount of iron in your blood. What this is, is the little prick on your finger doesn't hurt very bad at all. It does draw blood. They put it in a little test kit and they make sure you have enough iron in your blood. Then they quickly take your temperature. Then they sit you in a room with a computer. It's just you and the computer in this room. There's like, I think there's 50 really simple questions. Then they just do follow-up questions. So for instance, if you've been out of the country, they're gonna talk to you about specifically where you've been, how long you've been there. Here I gotta go over with you. Okay. In the past three years, I've been outside the United States or Canada. Yes. All right, I'm gonna skip fastly through this part, but this part's interesting. This is the machine that I get hooked up to when I donate blood. I have O negative blood, so I have a, a different type of, I have a rarer blood that it's the universal donor blood, meaning anyone can receive it. So I do a little bit of a different process when I go, but other than this machine, the rest is pretty much the same process. At this point, they wanna check your blood pressure, make sure everything's good to go before they move forward. This is the part where they mark the vein so that they know exactly where to stick the needle when that time comes. All right, and then they thoroughly clean the surface of your skin. If you don't like needles, you should probably look away right now. You've already seen it in the intro, but this is the part where they're gonna stick the needle into my vein. All right, so every time you go in to donate blood, they always test it first. So they take a bunch of these little vials before they actually take the big portion of your blood. So they can send it off to labs and make sure that your blood's clean. They don't want to be trying to save someone's life and then cause other issues down the line because the person that donated didn't have clean blood. So they're just testing it here. This process took me about 36 minutes. And this is from when I was sitting in the chair to when I got out of the chair. So checking in, answering the questions in the room, added like another 15 minutes to the process, but still in and out, less than an hour. It was pretty quick. Guys, that's it. That's all there is to it. It's so simple. It doesn't take much time. It saves people's lives. I urge you to get out there, donate some blood. If you're not eligible, please don't, don't worry about it. You know, there's other things you can do to support people in need. So this is just something simple that's easy for me to do. And I am encouraging whoever else is capable of donating blood to get out there and do so themselves. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button. It really helps me out. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, peace.